remote. I plan to discuss uh, harmonic functions. on uh, the agenda now. And uh, let me uh, recall uh, you uh, how many functions. So, in this uh, setting of harmonic functions, uh, G is a finite generic group. And S is a finite general set. And uh, mu which is uh, a sum for S in S of the Dirac mass at S is uh, weight mu S is a positive measure. This is support. S, so all the new S are strictly positive. And um, uh, I want to work with that. And I need one notation because uh, S spans G as a group, but maybe not as a semi group. So I, I do not find G plus the semi group uh, generated. S. So what I want to understand is uh, this uh, code H nu plus, which is the set of positive function on my group, uh, which are uh, mu harmonic. Mu harmonic, this means that uh, mu h uh, is in fact equal to h, where p mu is um, uh, the transfer operator, the average p mu h in g is uh, the sum for s in s of uh, H computing in SG. <laughs> okay, so the important case is when a mu is a probability measure, the sum of the mu S is one, but I will not assume that, and in fact, you will see in the proof in the statement of the theorem, I have to uh, uh, go away from this condition that we are dealing with the probability, the finite measure, the finite drop, the positive measure, right? Sorry? The positive measure. Positive. I, I, continue, I think you did not use the terminology, but it's also the same thing as to say, right? Normalize your measurement. Normalize the measurement. That is the equivalency measure. Then you don't get a, a harmonic measure, but you get lambda the harmonic. Lambda. It should be lambda harmonic. Exactly. Right. If you normalize, you get lambda harmonic. But uh, I use this uh, language, new harmonic, so I don't have to add new and lambda. I just have one. And, um, and so, okay, and uh, you introduce uh, in you the set of uh, uh, H in uh, positive harmonic measure which are extremal. What does extremal mean? This means that uh, if uh, you have H prime, which is smaller than H, and H prime is a mu harmonic. 
20, uh, sorry, in H nu plus. Then uh, H prime is a multiple of H. So this is a set of, uh, so they play the role uh, of the, you could say, ergodic also. And um, there is this theorem of Choquet. Very old theorem. The, I will begin by theorem from the 60s, early 60s. So this theorem of Choquet. It says that uh, this convex cone is a convex cone of its extremal points. But since you are not living with finite dimension, you are in infinite dimension, and uh, you have to say the following way. Each time you have a function which is uh, uh, positive harmonic, you are able to find a measure, a positive measure, uh, on uh, the extremal point. So that H is just the sum of all the, this external point with this weight new. So you write uh, H, sorry, for every, I will call it F. Okay, well, I will write F as the integral over E mu of H, D mu of H. So if you think of in the case where nu is uh, is uh, atomic, you just have a sum of extremal uh, uh, but in general it's an integral. So this is a very general theorem about convex code in uh, local vector space. You do shock it. And they prove this general theorem having in mind uh, the case of harmonic functions or the case of uh, uh, invariant measure. Sorry, can I, can I have a question? I'm a little bit behind. So, where you defined um, these, these new harmonic functions, where, where in the definition does new come up? Uh, you took it to one. Thank you. You have a way. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Yeah. yeah okay. Thank you. But, uh, it's a. Uh, if in case mu, thank you. In case mu is a probability measure, you are uh, p mu of h is the average of the translate of h with the corresponding way. Thank you. So I did on purpose, so you have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so then there is a second theorem due to uh, uh, Shoke de Deep. It tells you that uh, if G is a billion, so you want to describe all the positive harmonic functions. So thanks to Shoke theorem, you just have to describe this extremal harmonic function. So you want to know what is in you. And the uh, shock and the theorem tells you that if G is a billion, so it's for the case where G is a billion, let me begin with the easy case. Uh, every H, which is extremely harmonic, uh, in the character. Is a multiple this means that uh, you can write H is equal to lambda G H of G equal to lambda Q of G and key is a character means that uh, when you compute this function key 
on the product, which is a T of G. And uh, the proof for well, the proof is one line. So I will write the line and uh, the line is uh, you write h of g. So you take your h. Um, Extremal harmonic functions, and you want to provide the character. So you just write h of g, you write this formula, the sum of s in s us h in sg. But since uh, g is a median, you can uh, put the s on the other side, so you can write h of gs. But uh, then you see that this function as a function of g is new harmonic. So this is a new harmonic. So mu s h g s is a new harmonic function, which is smaller than h. So it has to be a multiple because it's external. So this implies that uh, h of uh, gs is uh, some constant ts h of g and this gives you the character as a function of s you get the character of the term this is the kind okay so this is uh, the proof of uh, Shock and Mr. N. And you see what is difficult in the proof is not this part of the proof. What is difficult is this part. That every harmonic function is a uh, integral of the extremal one. Then you, are, you, will able, you, will, you will be able to describe all harmonic functions. Describe the extremal one is so simple in the algebra. Okay. Now, I want to discuss in this talk, I want to discuss the uh, Newton group. There is a, a current, spring current, which is due to Margulis. So, this is the first theorem of Margulis. Margulis uh, did this theorem, he was less than 20. And uh, it tells you that if G is G plus, G plus is there, the semi group generated by S to OG, uh, you have the same thing, and G is potent. Then uh, Every H in, uh, in U uh, is a multiple of the graph. Okay, and uh, the proof is the uh, line. I think I have the time to give you the two lines. <laughs> uh, it's uh, slightly shorter than Marouille's proof. The Marouille's proof was three lines. <laughs> and uh, here is the proof. Uh, uh, by the same argument uh, as before, you take a if. Uh, If Z is an element of the center, you get that uh, uh, H 
of uh, GZ is uh, proportional GZ H of G. But because of this trick where you have to add the S on the other side, you can have this information only when Z is in the center. You don't have it for every element of the group. So what do you have to do? What you want to do is uh, if your group is abelian, okay, that's me. If it's not abelian, so this means that in the center you have elements of the commutator. And you would like to see this function as living on the quotient. So you want this character, this coefficient to be one when you are in the Dirac circle. You want You want if C in uh, the Dirac subgroup, then uh, KZ is one. So I, I don't count this as a line. <laughs> <laughs> so let me write my second line. Okay, so I write uh, D as a commutator, A B minus one B minus one. Maybe I replace mu by a convolution tower. So so that uh, alpha, which is the minimum of the weight of A. Uh, a minus one, B minus one is positive. Maybe I replace mu by uh, mu plus mu convolution two times plus mu convolution three times and so on. So I can manage. And so then uh, this AB uh, will uh, receive some weight from mu mu. And uh, the trick is to write to compute h of g. And so that it is uh, uh, p mu for n times h of g. Because uh, h is uh, p mu in time. You can find the relation. If your measure mu already has identity in the support, uh, suppose your measure mu has identity in the support, it doesn't change the uh, uh, amount of time, right? So, isn't it enough just to take the convolution power of mu? You mentioned you, you take a uh, uh, indexification, right? I, I, uh, maybe, but to be safe, I take, uh, yeah, because I, I, I the, my information is that. Uh, the semi group span by uh, the support is G, so I, I know that the S union, S square union, S cube union, the whole union yeah, is equal to G. So maybe some S to the end will uh, be. Yeah. Any element is in some power of you if you add the uh, identity. Yeah, no, 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 no. yeah, sure, sure, you can do that. You can, uh, I, you can first add the identity and then. Just the power. power. You're right. You're right. That's okay. Answer. That's okay. So let me go and mark the result of the side change of our response, which is this kind is not exactly like that in Margulis. Instead, Margulis uses the argument from functionality. Instead of the trick I am explaining to you. So the trick is um, uh, what is this? Uh, P mu to some power, 
it is just a sum like that, but you are not summing over this set S, but over all the words of length N with letters are in S. So this is a huge sum, but from this old sum, I just keep one guy. And uh, so I get a lower bound. And this guy is a n, n, a minus n, a minus n. Okay. And so the coefficient in front of it is a mu a to the power n, mu a minus one to the power n, mu b to the n, mu b minus one to the power n. So it's bigger than alpha to the four n. But then, what is this commutator? It's, uh, it will be given by is related to Z because we have this formula. Okay. How do you get the Z? You have to take any A minus one that you have here to put it on the other side of B. And each time you do that, you have a, a Z which goes out. So you have for the a minus one, you have to do it n times to go here. And then for the second one, you do it n times and so on. So you are doing n squared times. So what you get is that this is equal to alpha for n h c to the n squared. So you get that it is alpha to the four n uh, key c the power of n square h of g. Okay. So this forces you that k is to be smaller than one because if k is larger than one, then this will uh, you have the same h of g is the same as here. So for every n, this quantity has to be smaller than one. Alpha is a very small guy, but it is raised to power 4n. And if k is slightly larger than 1, then this will be much larger than 1. So from this, equality, this inequality is true for every n. So this forces you the z to be at most 1. And so you do it for z minus 1. And so this implies. So we have problem with Marguerite's theorem. And now I can begin my talk. So now I, we are at the end of the 60s, 66. And, uh, and today, what I want to do, I want to focus on uh, the Eisenberg group. So G, the Eisenberg group is the group of matrices 1, 1, 1, X, Y, Z, at least for in this group, it will be this group with integer coefficients. So I prefer to write the element of G as a hyper X, Y, Z. And then the product in this group is given by the formula. X plus x prime, y plus y prime, z plus z prime plus x y prime. Okay. So what is the equation I want to uh, solve? Let me, um, I, I want to, uh, what I plan to do in this talk is to describe all the uh, positive harmonic functions for the Eisenberg group. Okay. You will tell me, okay, but the Margulis already did it. Okay. 
but still I will try to do it for the agenda board. But your support doesn't generate. Uh, yeah, because I will not hear the assumption. <laughs> there is this assumption. Mm -hmm. We use it in a crucial way. We use it in a crucial way to know that uh, all these points are positive. Mm -hmm. So no, I, what I will just assume is that uh, S support uh, S stand G, but just as a group. So the, the key the key example is uh, is uh, to take a mu uh, is a subspace measure. Which is uh, uh, the Dirac mass at A plus the Dirac mass at B. So B is going uh, south and A is going uh, west. So A is uh, minus one, zero, zero, and uh, B is uh, zero, one, zero. So the generator uh, do not move in the z direction, but uh, maybe so there is minus one. But when you do computators, uh, the z or when you do a b b a a b, uh, something will happen in the in the z direction, which is the main point. So this is a, an example, and for this example, it's nice because you can write uh, what is the harmonicity condition. So the harmonicity condition is uh, H is a new SW harmonic. It's very specific. It's H of X, Y, Z is equal to H of A applied to this element. So you do the computation. H of X minus one, Y minus one. Plus H of X y minus one. Yes. Okay. So I plan to describe all the solutions of this system of equation where H is a positive function on the item table. Positive function in a three integer variable. This is the M of the talk. And uh, the surprise is that uh, you don't adapt the proof of Margulis. The surprise that there are other examples beyond uh, character. Okay, it's more than that for those who know better class one boundary, right? You can see the rounded harmonic functions, right? After all, only important groups one uses the same level of modulus, but one doesn't need to assume that the, the support the, uh, generates the same group, right? On other not important groups, the center can be even on the harmonic functions, but not on important groups. And here it's really remarkable that when you put it out, uh, even yeah, it's yeah. really very, very different. What is the harmonic function? Thank you. <laughs> And uh, so, let me so so here are uh, the example uh, of remark. Uh, is that if uh, H does not depend on Z, then uh, you can apply Shockey to this theorem, and uh, H is a character because it's a harmonic function in Z squared. And uh, now I want to give you an example of a harmonic function, which is not a character. Okay, and um, uh, I will choose the, that H does not depend on X. An example where H So I give you the answer H zero of X, Y, Z. So it's a function P of Y, Z, P, the partition function, which is uh, what is the partition function? 
this is a number of way uh, to write uh, z as a sum of y integer. So the cardinality of the set of y double m1 and y. And whether you want, you want to write z as a sum of y double. And uh, the way you count it is by uh, putting them in a uh, decreasing order. Okay, and uh, this, this quantity satisfies uh, this condition for the following reason. You have P of Y C, which is equal to, so P of Y Z is the, the number of such uh, tuples. So you just distinguish two cases. Either the last one is zero or not zero. If the last one is non zero, you can remove one to all of them. So this gives you only y minus, uh, this gives you still uh, y guy, but uh, they are adding to z minus y. So this is when. M y is not zero. And those for which M y is zero, you don't you can forget about it. So this is P of y minus one. When M y is zero. Okay. So this is exactly what is written here. So you have a new uh, harmonic function. So uh, you may want to understand how you have constructed this from um, if you were dealing with uh, uh, so this H zero is new SW. Sorry? Does this H you write is harmonic? Hey, is this H zero? Wait, but is it harmonic at zero? Sorry? Is it harmonic also at zero? At zero, at the point zero? At H zero of X, Y, Z is a function of, of uh, Y and Z. Because I had the impression that you had some function like this first, which is a potential where you have harmonicity everywhere apart from the point of zero, and also I wasn't sure. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. So you don't have harmonicity. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me, be, let me explain. Okay. You may count, you may introduce a function. I don't know what I have done in that paper. You may introduce a function h of x, y, z, depending on x. Where you count the number of partitions for which uh, y is given, but also the maximum of mi is given. And this bounded by x. So if you want m1 to be smaller than x, you get this way another function, which is uh, not harmonic, but which is a potential yes. at zero. Yes, but this one is, but really this one is really harmonic everywhere. Harmonic reverse because they're at, yeah, it's harmonic reverse. Um, may I ask you maybe you asked you to earlier, uh, to earlier, but so this is really this remarkable example you have right for this measure, which is just has one and one, right? Yes. On the and I understand, as you said, you described the all harmonic functions, right? And then for kind of supportive measures as well, right? You yes, yes, yes. Kind of, but may I ask you just for, for this kind of example, if you do normalize the measure, if, if you put one half, one half. Yes. Uh, do you have also a very easy formula of this kind? Let me say, okay. So it's a remark. Uh, this is 
let's use the SW one uh, half USW. This is the probability measure. Simply the answer to your question, but it's a bit correct. So instead of putting looking at Dirac of mass in A plus Dirac mass of B, I put one half Dirac mass of A plus Dirac mass of B. Then a function H in the new harmonic, new SW harmonic. If I'm going to need H tilde uh, is uh, new tilde SW harmonic. And H tilde is just uh, 2 x minus x minus y. You just multiply by uh, this character. Oh, yes, so you just multiply your by this character. You, you get the. the you get the. You get the. You get the. Okay, uh, now let me uh, let me put this uh, nice example in a more general uh, framework. And, uh, and then put the general story. So uh, let S0 in S be a subset which is maximal abelian. And let mu0, so let G0 the group span by S0. So it will be some group either uh, which will be isomorphic to Z. Uh, because we are in the Heisenberg group. And uh, mu0 is just the restriction of mu to uh, S0. So here, even if I was starting with uh, Probability here mu zero is not anymore a probability. So this is here I have to go out of the world of probability measure. And then uh, I consider a, a, a key zero uh, mu zero uh, harmonic character. On G zero that I extend by zero outside G zero. So I start with the harmonic character. G zero is abelian, so I start with the character supported by C. And what is the construction I want to do? Uh, the construction I want to do is uh, I notice that uh, the function key zero is equal to p nu zero key zero because it is uh, nu zero harmonic. So it's uh, smaller than a key nu uh, key zero. And I can go on. Key zero, key zero, key zero is, is a choice. Key okay. zero is a new zero harmonic character on G zero. Mm -hmm. So I have my data now. My first data is S zero. I choose a maximal abelian subset in S. And I choose a new zero harmonic character. And with this data, I can construct an extremal. Uh, this will be an extremal new zero harmonic character on zero, and with that, I will construct an extremal uh, harmonic function, new harmonic function on, uh, on G by noticing that the key new zero key zero is bounded by key new key zero because the uh, new zero is a reflection of new, so I have more term here. So you start from key zero, it's bounded by that, so you apply key new. So you have an increasing sequence, key new n. So this tells you that uh, you have this increasing sequence, so it converges. So if 
uh, h for the limit of a infinity uh, of uh, p in n to zero is finite. So it may be infinite. So you have to check case by case whether it's finite or infinite. But if it is uh, finite, and you can uh, say exactly when this happened, uh, if it is finite, then this function h, I will call it h uh, as zero to zero, uh, is uh, extremal, is, is in, sorry, extremal and uh, belongs to inu. So it's a way to construct extremal new harmonic functions. And now I can say the theorem. Theorem for G Eisenberg. H is in inu. This implies that either H is a character. Or h of g is uh, equal to h given by such a function h s zero p zero may be translated. If you translate on the right uh, harmonic function, an external harmonic function, it will stay external harmonic. So for some uh, g zero in g. So the data to construct external harmonic functions are uh, a maximal abelian subgroup of S, uh, harmonic character, a new zero harmonic character on G0, and an element of G transit. And then uh, this gives you all the new uh, external positive harmonic. It's just explain that so you, you take your function h and you, you put just, just, uh, just in the argument mode to, so you, before you translate of course you can translate no no i construct uh maybe maybe here i have i have this function h as zero p zero yes but so how, how so this is what i'm saying is that this function i have constructed here is an external harmonic function Okay. Yeah, yes, but, but just but then, please explain the notation. I didn't follow. What this one? Mean, no, no. What is the spin H as zero? G zero? Yes. This is this quantity. I call this quantity when it is finite. This quantity is the. You see, I start from a, from a harmonic character. I, I, in general, I, it's not so easy. You, you, you can transform it in a more precise formula, but uh, what happens is that uh, you start from a, you have a, your group G0 is here, and uh, you have a character on G0. And uh, for instance, in the case, okay, in the case of uh, uh, the southwest measure, okay, let me give you a one example. When they can you say what it says for yourself as time, right? Example. Yeah, example. S is equal to the set KB as before. Okay. And take S0 is A. So you can choose, you want to find the maximal abelian subset here. You have two choices, either it's A or it's B. So let's take A, S0 is A. So this means that G0 is a group AZ. Okay. And what does it mean? A harmonic character. What is mu0? Mu0 is just a character of A. So what does it mean to be, um, to be harmonic? It means just invariant by transition by A. So the harmonic character has to be a constant function. So T0 is one. The function one and T0 and T0 squared. Okay. 
So then what do you do when you have SAP? Okay. Uh, you apply uh, P mu to the end to this function one G zero. And what I pretend is that uh, H zero, the function H zero I have defined here. Yes. You can give the formula that is equal to H zero X Y Z is just the limit of N infinity of P mu N is uh, zero. Yes, but if you start with your H0 as you explained before, right? You take this H0. Yes. Do you, do you say that all external harmonic functions would be translates or of H0? H0? Yes, or, 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 or translate, or because you can do that so G. And uh, or translate by D. But since there is a, a, an automorphism of the agenda group H and A and B. So you can get another function which is given by the formula H1 X, which is the image of H0 by uh, this automorphism. It could give you the formula P of X, this is P function, P of X and uh, XY minus C. This function H1 will be the one you will obtain by this general process if you start with the subset equal to B. But after all, you have two functions, one and the other one. You, 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 what H0 and H1. You have only two functions. H0 two functions the and they are translated. And everything is translated other way. Yeah, and those are the ex, all the external harmonic functions which are not characteristic. Sure, exactly. This is a complete answer to the, to the question, but uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, it's nice to have such a construction so that uh, you are able to work with any uh, finitely supported probability measure on, uh, on the agenda group. Yeah. This is uh, and then uh, uh, what about non finitely So you look for any type of Yeah, I did not. Uh, I didn't go beyond. I didn't go beyond. Yes, but do, I, you, do you expect maybe it might be I did not study, so I did not study. I really did not study, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. You, uh, you have at least to try one example, and I didn't even try. I mean, I was uh, I was happy to have uh, mm -hmm. this. And uh, mm -hmm. what I tried is uh, other Newton group, mm -hmm. and I tried uh, uh, the the Newton group of Frankfurt. And uh, what happened there is that was, I was very disappointed because. Uh, such a description doesn't work. So I give mm. some kind of counter example of, a, of, of saying that any external harmonic function is either a character or induced from a character. So there are other process to construct an external harmonic function. I explained that in, in the paper. But uh, I don't see a general picture. So I, I decided maybe there is a picture that I, I can go for. Which book? The fourth step in Cotton Group. Step four. Step, okay. Okay. step four. So meaning uh, you in yeah, terms yeah. of matrices yeah. one, 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 yeah. oh. x, and you have one, and uh, you have uh, uh, y, step 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 step. Step. No. So in mean, this sort of common example, you have uh, not everything is induced from characters, right? In yes. Yes. But you, do you have a picture of? What are all functions in this case? About no, I don't have a picture. I don't have a picture. I, 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 there might be, what I'm saying, there might be a picture, but I don't have a picture. Okay. Mm. I also spend time on uh, the Eisenberg group uh, of Frank 5. Mm. And uh, I almost get the same picture. So I make conjecture that the same picture is correct. Mm. But uh, there, there was a tricky, a tricky I, I was able to do it for almost all measures. But there is a tricky measure, and uh, I could not finish. And it began to be technical and decided mm -hmm. to stop. Mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, but this procedure always gives harmonic function. I mean, this procedure uh, very easily always gives harmonic It's very general, mm -hmm. harmonic and external. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When does the limit exist? When does uh, when does this exist? Yeah. 
And when, when you start with the way it is finite or not finite, um, I can say it's written in the paper, but I forgot. I completely mm -hmm. forgot. I have written exactly precisely in terms of uh, maybe. But, uh, but in this example, I have to take both in order to cover. I have to take all the generators in order to cover all the possible factors. All the generators, you mean? All the same SEO? Yeah, yeah, all the SEO. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. All the SEO. Yeah, yeah. And it does converge in this case. And in this, this case, in, in the yes. case of the surface pressure yeah. cover, for sure, yeah. because I have given the formula in this year. And uh, in uh, general, uh, when you have more than two generators, and uh, if you have part, because you see, uh, if you take S equal to A, B, A minus one, B minus one, for instance, you can take this one. It will never convert. Mm -hmm. Because there are no other uh, harmonic functions beyond the character. So if you take if you take this and S0 A A minus one, not because uh, okay. so maybe I can quote uh, a corollary to say when there are new functions beyond harmonic. Okay, with this construction, I can say precisely when for which measure. You have a function which are not character. Okay. So let me quote this. Uh, all H uh, in, in U are uh, multiple of character. It can only uh, you are able to find two elements G and H, the semi group uh, generated by. Uh, the support S, which are uh, not in the center, but uh, such that the product is in the center and is not one. So this is a this is a criterion. Uh, uh, which forces you uh, uh, all uh, the uh, all these uh, limit to be infinite, and uh, I think um, I, I wanted to say a few words. The proof is three lines, but maybe I don't have time for this three lines. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Normally you don't have time, but it's very short three lines. Okay, let me give you. <laughs> New equal new and double two for the southwest pressure. Okay, so you introduce so you 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 start with the formula H of G uh, is um, uh, the sum for uh, W all world of length n uh, of uh, there is a mu of the, the, the mass, but here, here for the suspect, the mass is one, but I don't find the mass. Okay. And, uh, and uh, it's uh, H in a double uh, Because this is just a in UN of, G, of H, of the T in G. Okay, so we just analyze this equality. 
This is what you want to do. Okay. And uh, what you want to prove, you want to prove that H of G equals H of GC. Because H is in down by the center, so it could be a harmonic function on the abelian, on the quotient abelian. So this is what you want to prove. What you do is you analyze these words, W. And so you introduce, uh, you, you couple the words. It's a word in A and B. So you introduce Rn. You introduce first, you introduce KW, which is the number of AB in W, number of places where you see AB, exactly AB. So if your word W is A to the N, zero. If your word is B to the Q, A to the N, it's zero. So it's a number of switch from A to B, and uh, you introduce Rn, which is the number of couples w, w, for which W, you can write it W0, A, B, W1, and W1, you can write it, W0, B, A, W1. So it's a set of couples in the world where somewhere you switch the AB into a BA. So this is included in uh, uh, Sn cross Sn, the product of n copy of S with n copy of S. And what happens is that if you have this equality, then inside the group in G, W is a uh, I don't know exactly, maybe something like W prime Z. Okay, because you just have a commutator. You should replace A by B, you have to put a Z inside this equality. So, what you do is that you think that this sum, not as a sum of Sn, but uh, as a sum on all couple um, in uh, Rn. Uh, H of uh, WG. But uh, there is KW guy. So you have to put one over KW. Okay. So what you, what you do is you have to say, okay, here in this sum, what really matters are the guy for which this number of AB is large. Meaning, in this sum, you see, you, you follow a path, W. From G to the identity, you follow some kind of path, and and this path, uh, if there are no switch from A to B, they will not contribute. So you must have many paths. So you say that it's almost equal to when uh, KW is uh, larger than K0. This is a tricky part, okay? And then, but you see, this WG is also equal to W prime GZ. So this is called the sum of uh, w, w prime in Rn of 1 over KW H of W prime GZ. Because W is W prime Z. But what happens is when KW is very large, you see the number of uh, successive pair AB in W is almost the same as the number of successive pair AB in W prime. They differ almost by one. So you can replace, it's not very different, it's almost. You put KW prime here. But again, it's when KW prime is larger than k0. And then uh, it's almost equal. You do the same as we have done. It's a sum for w prime in Sn of uh, h w prime gz. And you apply harmonicity. It's h of gz. OK, so you have proven that h of g is h of gz. 
So you have a problem that it is always a character. This is not exactly what you wanted. You wanted either a character or one of the strictly functions. But what I have done here is to say that the contribution in this sum of the W for which you have very small number of switch from A to B, they do not contribute. And what you will prove is that if those terms with KW smaller than K0 contribute, then the term where there is only A contributes, just no switch or only B. And the, those for which only there are only A are exactly uh, the, the induced of character. It's exactly what you want. So, happy. Thank you. Personally, I have many questions more, but uh, <laughs> I, I'll be leaving you to maybe to switch to the second talk. Yeah. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe you make a short message for me to erase. Yes, okay. That's so they have a nice background. <laughs> Uh, is there any short questions from anyone on Zoom since the people in the room have gotten some chance? No, okay. <laughs> All right. Anyone in the room have a short question? No, okay. 